Hey folks, um, so today I thought we'd have a look at how to analyse any graph or chart in geography, it doesn't matter what comes up in the test, in the exam, this will help you. Um, so colour today, unusual. Um, if you're making this at home, to be honest, don't worry about making all of this, just focus on the TEA strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, so I've made a pretend energy mix. An energy mix for a country is linked to paper two and this is where we break down where they're getting their electricity from. So in, the, in country A, I actually haven't given it a name, figure one, um, they're getting a lot of their energy from oil, from natural gas, from coal. So about, in fact, about uh, two thirds of it really, about 65%. Um, a little bit from fracking, which is relatively new, and 10% from nuclear, and about a quarter of their electricity needs are coming from renewables, so, you know, from different sources like solar or wind power. Now, the skill I'm going to give you here is going to help you with any graph, so if you get a bar chart, if you get a line graph, get a scatter graph, get anything, doesn't matter what it is, um, I want you to remember TEA, cup of tea, I want you to remember tea. So, let's, um... Let's write that on here. So remember, lots of exclamation marks, T-E-A. And if it helps you, you know, just draw a cup of tea, you know, pop that in there as well. So what you do with any graph you get is you answer it with that T-E-A. So trend example anomaly. So T equals trend. E equals example and A is anomaly. If you do this, you're guaranteed to do well and get full marks. So trend is the pattern. What is the overall pattern that the graph is telling you? What's it showing you? An example is where we remind you to include data, and pick out a specific example, and an anomaly is just something that doesn't fit. Okay, it doesn't quite, um, sort of fit or kind of match the rest of the graph? Is there anything unusual? Okay, so if this was a four marker, it would be, um, so would it even be a four marker? It might be a three marker. Uh, it would be something like, um, describe the energy mix, I'm totally making this up by the way, um, of country A, okay? something like that, and it might be worth, say, three or four marks. So you're gonna go in with your trend. So first of all, we're gonna notice, aren't we, that oil, gas, and coal, those big fossil fuels, are still making up a huge proportion of country A's energy. So we would say, let's put answer, okay? Uh, always get the figure in there. So figure one shows that country A, or country A's energy mix is largely based on fossil fuels, okay, coal, oil and gas, coal, oil and gas, which account for 65, because I've done a little bit of maths in my head there, 65% of all its electricity. Now, I know I've used some data, so I've kind of snuck into example a little bit there, you know, arguably I've done that, but let's push for the top. So that would be, that would be our pattern, our trend. Then we need to do our example. So we've I know I've kind of kind of included one already a little bit with those fossil fuels, but let's pick out a different one. So we could, just for argument's sake, because we've already talked about those, let's say renewables and nuclear, which in geography is a renewable. We could say renewables and nuclear are only 37%. Stop there. Now we need our anomaly. Now sometimes it just isn't one, it's not clear, but in this case, I think we can talk about fracking. It's the smallest in the graph. It 
doesn't quite fit. So anomaly, there we go. All right, the anomaly is fracking. Because it's, it doesn't fit beautifully, it doesn't, it should be bigger. It should be a bigger chunk if it wants to fit in with the rest. So the anomaly is fracking, which only accounts for 2% of country A's electricity. Okay, now I want you to have a go at just practicing this trend example anomaly with any graph, like just Google it, Google, Google geography graph, and then practice it again and again and again, because it needs to be so automatic in your exams that it's just easy, easy peasy. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Um, just a little technique that lots of us geography teachers use in the classroom to help students get through exams. Um, nice quick one for you. Thanks.